Hey everybody, this is Brett, and this 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara 4xE is stock number 22J84. And I think this might be one of the best looking Wranglers that we have ever had on our lot. And it's the electric hybrid and has the blue accents on the wheels, the Wrangler lettering and just the tow hooks and everything. Really a good looking vehicle. This one does have the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with the hybrid system on it. It's gonna get you 49 miles per gallon equivalent. And uh, just on the gas engine, it gets you 20 miles per gallon average. Black clear coat is the color on this one. I shoot all my videos in 4K. So if you have HD capabilities, turn them on. And um, if you like the video and how I do things, uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper right hand part of the screen. So we're gonna go all the way around over all the options on this vehicle and uh, just check out the hybrid system, the hybrid options, take a look under the hood and just some of the differences from this one to a regular Wrangler. Uh, but to start off, you'll notice that it, you get the LED headlamps, LED running lights and the LED fog lamps. So there are your headlights, there are the running lights. You also get LED running lights in the fenders and the fog lights are LEDs as well. Now as you notice you get these light blue painted tow hooks. That's to part of the hybrid package or the four by E package. You get these silver inserts on the grill, which is um, the seven slotted grill signifying the seven continents that Jeep has been driven on. And uh, those silver inserts are part of the Sahara package. Notice that you do get the color match fenders and this one also has the color match hardtop. I recommend getting the color match stuff on everything. So um, you get the 20 inch painted alloy rims and it has Bridgestone Dueler HL tires. These are 275, 55R20s. And you get the four wheel disc brakes and it's part of the regenerative braking on, um, or this one does have regenerative braking on it, part of that four by E package. You'll notice you get the little blue Jeep right there as well. Um, so this thing like slows down really quick and uh, that's part of that regenerative braking. You get these sandals in the plastic there, the Jeep driving up the windshield. You get the T50 on the door hinges. That's signifying the Torx wrench that you need to get those doors off. We actually did a video on how to get your doors off your JL Wrangler. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. And the Saharas all come with the factory running boards on them. Notice you get the Jeep outlined in the blue there. You also get the Wrangler Unlimited in that blue and the Sahara block lettering. I'm going to show you the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go over everything, but most of it. Um, 2022 Wrangler Unlimited Sahara 4xE. You get the two liter i4 dual overhead cam turbo engine, eight speed automatic transmission. Jeep Wave membership is included. Everything on your left is your standard equipment, including the 4C with nav, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, Sirius XM traffic plus and travel link for five years and Sirius XM radio for six months. And uh, everything right there, more standard equipment. Black exterior paint is your first option, 395. Cold weather group, which gives you the heated seats, remote start, and heated steering wheel is 1195. This one has the anti-spin rear differential, which is 695. And the three-piece color hardtop, matching hardtop is $2,695. Total MSRP on this one is 61170. And if you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this vehicle, in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website to this vehicle on our website. So click that and check us out there. Now your warranties are a little different than your basic Wrangler. You're going to get a five year 60 powertrain. Now that's on the gas engine and the transmission. You get an eight year 100,000 mile warranty on the hybrid system and on the high voltage battery. So you get eight years, 100,000 miles on those systems and battery. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and uh, the five year 60 is your powertrain. So you can see you get 49 miles per gallon equivalent. Um, it's just a better way to measure a hybrid vehicle. So you're gonna roughly use about 49 or get 49 miles per gallon when both systems are working together. And then your gasoline only is 20. 
and then your um, fuel economy and greenhouse gas ratings uh, miles per gallon is six and co2 is eight and the small grain is five so um, pretty nice pretty nice 49 miles per gallon equivalent right there this one also has the leather trim seats I'm not sure if they the Saharas come standard now with the leather or maybe the 4xe does um, but anyways notice you get the leather dash trim which is pretty sweet and uh, the other thing to note on these the painted fenders all get 3m tape on the front so that the wheel wells or fenders don't get all rock chipped get the LED tail lamps and I'm gonna turn on all those lights at the end of the video so definitely stick around for that you get the blue tow hook back here and the 4 by E logo and that E is actually just a little bit of metal flake in that logo it's pretty cool coming around to the back here You get your tool kit for taking your doors and hard tops pieces off. You also have a bag for your charger. So this charges um, the vehicle. It can plug into 120 volt or 240 volt. And if, depending on which one you plug it into, the 240 volt takes about 2.4 hours um, or right around two hours to char fully charge this vehicle. And then a 120 volt takes roughly about 12 hours. You get the case for your hardtop front pieces and your Alpine subwoofer back here. These hardtop hard tops come off really easy. There's three bolts on each side, two on the top, so a total of uh, eight bolts. And then there's two quick disconnects and then that lifts right up. I actually did a video on how to take your hardtop off of your JL Wrangler. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Nice part about putting that subwoofer on the side, you get that storage space back here, and this is also where you put your door hinge, roof, and windshield bolts. So uh, really a lot of stuff that comes with this Jeep to help you use it. And there's your JL badge with overall length and wheelbase and water fording and all that good stuff. You get the blacked out fuel door. Also want to show you the trail rated badge right there and the unlimited logo right there. So this is where you charge your vehicle. Just take this plug out and your charger just snaps right into there and it just starts charging. Uh, it'll tell you on the handle I believe if it's charging or not on the charger. So that's really easy. There's another little Easter egg, the Jeep climbing up. Oh that's what blinks. So that button right there, that light right there will blink um, green or red if it's not charging. Um, so that's kind of neat. You get the enter and go system, the heated mirrors. And then the other thing that's different on the uh, four by E's is these seats, they are not, they don't go down all the way um, flat because this is where your batteries are located. So that's what is underneath there. And these seats don't, you know, they only go down so far. Even when you have this piece up, these seats only go down like that. And then it does not go flat with the back there. So that's the only real drawback of having um, a four by E over a regular Wrangler is those back seats. Um, you can't put them down completely flat. You do get a 115 volt, 150 watt charger back here. Child safety locks on the back doors. And uh, we'll hop inside. The other thing, um, quickly, you get side curtain airbags now, or side airbags, a driver's seat height, adjust, height adjuster and lumbar, and then the leather trim seats. These seats are heated with that cold weather group. So the other hybrid thing with this vehicle is your buttons right here. So you can put it in hybrid mode and then it, the vehicle will pick, you know, whether to use electric or the motor um, or engine, I should say, uh, while you're driving to best suit whatever you're doing. And then you have just electric mode. So that'll use whatever battery you have left to, to drive. And then you have an e-save mode. So I actually did a demo where I drove around and tried all these different features out. If you want to check that video out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen as well auto headlamps tilt telescopic steering wheel and we'll hop inside 
The instrument cluster is just a little bit different too because of the hybrid stuff, you get more um, battery information and stuff like that. So you can see this one's charged up to 32%. Uh, somebody did just test drive this uh, vehicle right before I did the video. So, um, and we charged it up on, I think, Monday. So that was, or Wednesday, we charged this up. So they test drove it for quite a bit. And it shows you how many miles you have left on just electric, which is right there. And then your total uh, range for electric and gas is right there as well. Digital speedometer and 20.8 miles per gallon right there as well. But that video that I did uh, where I drove around, I, I did an average just using E or just using electric, using the E-save mode. And it's kind of a neat video because I was driving around town in Fond du Lac here. Cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. This one does have the factory navigation system. It's the 4C radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You do have your climate controls here. Notice you do get the dual climate controls. You can do everything up there or down here. And then uh, you got your heated seats, heated steering wheel, your backup cam, which they've made those HD. And it's uh, really, really nice. So you can see what's going on behind you crystal clear. And then um, you also have all your different apps, including your off-road pages and your projection manager, where you can project your cell phone to a screen. Once again, I did a demo on Android Auto on an 8.4C. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right-hand part of the screen as well. Uh, and then you have your off-road pages. They do take a second to load. So while they're loading, I will point out that you get volume and tune and climate controls down here, the more tactile buttons, as well as heated seats and heated steering wheel. And in a Wrangler, you may be lost but never stuck. So you get your steering angle, which changes. And the vehicle's actually on right now, so that's why the steering is really easy to do. Uh, but it's just in electric mode right now. You have your latitude, longitude, and your altitude. Your accessory gauge is right there. And then you have your pitch and roll as well. Um, and then last but not least is, is this charger button. So you can, if I press that, you can see that it says max regeneration off and max regeneration on. So what that will do is it will use more of the brakes and uh, slowing down of the vehicle, the natural slowdown of the vehicle to uh, charge the battery up while you're driving. So that will never charge the battery fully, but it will help maintain the battery life throughout your drive. And then uh, down here you get your window controls, USB, USB-C, AUX jack, your four wheel drive, your eight speed automatic transmission. This one does have keyless entry with remote start. And that flips open like so. And then when you're driving, you can put that right there and it'll sit there. Once again, my favorite thing about the Sahara's is the leather wrap dash. I think that looks great. Um, I like it better than like the Rubicon red or sometimes the gray, which I don't mind the gray, but this is way better than the red. SOS and assist buttons, auto dimming mirror, and then home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. So we will... Uh, take a look under the hood here so you can see the difference under here of course I don't have a regular Wrangler in here to show you um, so you can see now the engines turned on so it must have realized that the battery was getting low or that it just needed to charge for a little bit because I got all the lights on and everything but really the only thing that you can see that's different is uh, that orange cord right there. And then that goes down to a motor right there, which is part of the drive system. So really a pretty complicated piece of machinery here. And uh, like I said, we'll do one more final walk around. I'll do one more final walk around here of, with all the lights on and everything. But I still think this is probably one of the best looking Wranglers we've ever had on our lot. And uh, just the black and the blues and everything. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, we've gotten a little idea of the overall options and styling and looks and a little bit, learn a little bit about the hybrid system on the 4xE. I would definitely, if I was gonna get another Wrangler, I would definitely get a 4xE just makes sense for my commute. I only travel 10 miles a day, uh, even with going on lunch, so it would really make sense to use this because it'll get about 20, 
21 miles on a charge, uh, just electric, so that would make a lot of sense for me in particular. But anyways, thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel, and uh, see more pictures of this vehicle or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs. You can go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Auto. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to how you take your doors off your Wrangler JL in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hard top off your JL in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and uh, we're super excited to be offering the Jeep Wrangler 4xe, especially the Sahara in black clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you again.